electronic conspicuity or seeing other planes on your iPad is the fashionable thing at the moment. And quite right too, there's a lot of heavy metal up there and you don't want to bump into any of it if you can possibly help it. There are expensive ways of going about this. You can pay Garmin a lot of money for one of their fantastic boxes which will display on your instrument panel display. Or you can spend a far more reasonable sum on one of the carry-on boxes such as Sky Echo or Pilot Aware. Having studied this quite carefully, I decided on Pilot Aware because it shows more aircraft than any other system, particularly when you're in range of its ground stations. I first tested the system by just placing it all in my rear baggage compartment with the aerials on the side window and we subsequently fitted the box into a slightly more permanent position in one of the glove compartments with again the aerials on the rear side screen. This works fairly well but they would be better off looking forwards if at all possible. When you turn the power on the box livens up and you can log on to the Wi-Fi on your iPhone or iPad and you get a radar screen a bit like this. Of course when you then go into your Sky Demon navigation app the planes show up on the moving map. And this is the way most people will use it. This is a good example. I was doing a low level flight when I noticed a conflict just ahead, just below, and looking down there it was, a plane on the ground. Anyway, let's get up in the air and do a test. Biggin Hill on a lovely sunny morning. And it's the first morning that we can fly after lockdown Mark 2. So here we are. It's been quite a few months since the plane last flew and so the navigation database needs to be updated and that's the first job. Uh, new data card at great expense from Carmen and um, update it all before we can go off. Job done, everything's current as it should be and so off we go. Today's flight is a simple quick and easy Biggin Hill to Earls Cone in Essex. The first thing you do to use Pilot Aware is to log in to its Wi-Fi. And then you go onto your browser and you go into Pilot Aware's website. And there is your status with your GPS status and the planes that it's picking up. Look at all those. It'll also give you metars based locally to where you are. That's very useful. So then you can go onto the radar screen and you can watch what's happening. So on now to Sky Demon. Then if we click the go flying, use Pilot Aware, and suddenly there we are on the ramp at Biggin Hill. If you then pan out, you start to see planes. This is one that's just coming into land at the moment at Biggin, and we can see them coming in. If we pan out further, we can see lots of other planes, all moving about. India behind the landing PA28 via Alpha 1, line up and wait behind. Line up and wait behind via Alpha 1 after the landing tank with you. Oh, 
the assertive wind 230 degrees, 10 knots, left turn 2 miles, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Well, there's no other aeroplanes about just at the moment, but we'll be keeping an eye open for that. Pilot Aware has some unique ground stations, which are scattered about all over the country, and they are useful for passing information up to and receiving information from your box in your plane and this enhances the display. You can see just such a ground station has appeared uh, just to my left now. Golf Tango India, north of Beam, 7 Oaks, 2,000 feet. Golf Tango India, Roger, are you leaving the frequency now? Um, I'll stay with you for just a little while longer if I may, please. Hey sir, report uh, when you change. We'll go, Tango India. What we're seeing here is interesting because the machine is picking up a bearingless target which is just 100 feet above me. It's a mode C or a mode S transponder so the system can't say exactly where it is but it can say that it's nearby which is a help but not as much as a help as you perhaps might like. But hang on a minute we've just been picked up by that green ground station and so we can now see that, in fact, Golf, Juliet, Syria, Foxtrot, Charlie, which was somewhere around us, uh, is actually passing by our right-hand side. That's helpful. This is good, but as Golf, Foxtrot, Charlie goes out of range of the ground station, then uh, it disappears off the radar screen, and we're just replaced by the yellow circle. Golf Tango India approaching the dark bridge and to one route frequency. Two stations at once. Golf Tango India, score conspicuity, free call on route, bye bye. Conspicuity on route, thanks for help, bye bye. Crossing over the dark the bridge ahead, we see a couple of targets. Uh, worryingly, one has just disappeared but the other one's still coming at us. The circle's getting smaller, which means that the target is getting closer. And then, ah, it's very close. So keep a good look out here. But it seems to have gone past. Through my headphones I'm getting a message telling me that there's an aircraft ahead 1 o'clock, 0.5 miles, 300 feet above, and um, sure enough if we look out we see, there it is. As the aircraft has gone past it's no longer a threat so it's turned green on the screen.
looking at Sky Demon, we see that we can get a radar service from South End uh, with a listening squawk. So with all these planes around, maybe that would be a good idea. And so we'll put in South End frequency, and then we'll put the listening squawk on as well. And Staples 18, Scott Zulu, 1026, request radar vector dial S, more than 2,200 feet. Staples 18, South End, direct, check out to radar glass, and then Squawk 4575, what service outside control airspace? 4575, traffic service outside, Staples 18. Staples 18, identified traffic service reduced, due to 11 distance from South End, possible late warning of traffic. Confirm, fly an IFR or VFR. IFR traffic service, Staples 18. One o'clock, two miles opposite direction, 2,800 feet, this is Cessna 152, inside control airspace. Copy the traffic and visual, I'll take a look. It's astonishing how, when you're in the air, how few other aircraft you see, despite the fact that there are so many around. Uh, that last one was actually the only one I've spotted whilst in the air. Sign only, 128.965. 128.965, yeah, so this is telling me that there's an airline that's straight ahead, uh, 7,000 feet above me, and there it is. And I guess he's descending into the throw, probably. got a yellow circle of proximity around us now which has just turned red and I think it's due to that plane on my right which is approaching us. I think this is the case because as the plane passes behind us and ceases to become a threat so the uh, red circle vanishes. Got 10 miles to run to Earl's Cone. Earl's Cone, good afternoon. Golf Mike Oscar, Tango India. Golf Mike Oscar, Tango India, this is Earl's Cone Radio. You're ready for the T5 pass message. T5 is also at Tango India, inbound from begin 1,500 feet on 1028. Currently eight miles to run from the southwest. Request joining and landing. Expecting to join downwind. Left hand for two four. Golf Tango India. Roger. The runway new series two four. Left hand circuit of QNH one zero two six. QFC one zero one eight. One zero two six for QNH and two four left hand. And uh, please say again the QFE. QFE is one zero one eight. 1018 QFA, At the moment, no reported traffic to effect. Copy that, Tango. Uh, just about to join downwind. Count Tango India joining downwind left hand to two four. Golf Tango India, Roger. That there is Earl's Cone on our left wing. Do a nice long visual approach. Picks are off on the carriage now. Locked and welded to the floor. T's and P's are green. Switches are on. Bags on both. Honestly, is texture rich. 
drop push. Gulf Tango India turning final 2-4. Gulf Tango India Here we go, getting a very nice guidance for the visual approach. Those trees are a little bit close there. Landed 1350. And Tango India request parking for just uh, 20 minutes. Go Tango India, are you happy on the grass, sir? Yeah, sure. sure. On the grass you'll see there's a PA28 white blue, and if you want to park next to him, that'd be great. Welcome. So what's the conclusion? Well, pilot aware is very good. It's not perfect. Uh, it could show the planes a bit better sometimes, particularly when they're only mode Charlie or mode Sierra, uh, but no doubt it'll improve and it's very good and I think worth having. And for more information, please see the links that I've put below, particularly a very good article in Flyer magazine.